Backpacks can really be a pain sometimes. Have you ever been walking in a crowded area and gotten so hungry you couldn't wait till you got home to eat? It can be so irritating that you have to take your whole backpack off just to grab a snack or something small. Or have you ever dropped your GoPro or sports camera because you had no firm way of holding on to it? It sucks big time. Well, look no further. The Adaptive Fanny Pack is a fantastic new way to create a stylish and sporty fanny pack out of any backpack strap. Easy as that. Infomercials can be annoying, but sometimes they're super helpful. My name's Lauren Brush, and here's my Adaptive Fanny Pack that I designed for Design for Manufacturing. With features for use with and without a GoPro, the Adaptive Fanny Pack is easy to use, comfortable, and can adapt to any backpack strap. Now that I've introduced you to this awesome product, let's get down to the details of how it was manufactured. To build the bottom piece of the pack, I decided to use a vacuum mold because of the one-sided design and hollow profile the pieces would need. To heat the material, I cooked it at 450 degrees for two minutes. This was not as graceful as the play button YouTube video predicted. As you can see, the 1 16th ABS plastic seemed too thick for the strength of my vacuum. So to improvise, I cooked the plastic with the mold placed below it. This kick-started the molding and helped prevent the ABS from sticking to anything in the oven as well. Once the plastic and the mold were placed on the vacuum molder, I turned the vacuum on and realized there was still not quite enough suction to create the mold independently. So I had to use my hands as well. As you can see, the mold was so hot from being placed in the oven that it began to collapse with the ABS, creating a bit of a concave shape. I followed the play button YouTube video shown in class to build my vacuum molder out of pegboard, MDF board, and airtight duct tape. Although this created an airtight device, the shop vac I used should have been much stronger. All in all, the mold created a usable shape that had some serious trimming to do next. After vacuum molding, I first trimmed the excess plastic with the vertical bandsaw and then with an X-Acto knife around the rounded edges. I then sanded all the edges to make sure no areas were left sharp, potentially endangering the user. To cut the hole out of the front for the GoPro and the belt cutouts on the back, I used a utility knife and sandpaper to finish it off. To join the front and back pieces, I glued a piano hinge that only allowed the case to open approximately 15 or 20 degrees, enough to insert a GoPro, but not wide enough for any items to fall out. To cover the whole cutout for the GoPro, I attached a larger, circular piece of plastic with a nut and bolt that is loosened just enough for it to rotate, shown later in this video. Well, the adaptive fanny pack is finally done, and can now be worn on any backpack or even belt. The featured GoPro cutout makes the pack easy to use for any hiking or adventuring footage you want to make. Good luck on your next adventure, and thanks for watching.